Investor for today, I'm going to show you 30 hidden, more hidden features in iOS 11 that I found today. First one is no icon labels on the bottom dock. So iOS 11 removes the icon labels that are on the bottom dock. That's the first change. Kind of like that. It used to be a glitch where I can do it from the control center. And kind of nice. Next one is new home screen layout. See here, in here the iOS 10's home screen layout. iOS 10 to iOS 11 to that. It's kind of a brand new layout. The next one is big bold, big text big bold text settings in mail. Settings in mail like settings and settings and mail. Like where you go into the mail app. Here's one of the all mail. It's pretty big. The next one is new AirPod settings. So AirPods have the new control settings. Let me get my AirPods here. Go to my AirPod settings here. Make tick to my AirPods. So, give me a minute. I gotta pair up my AirPods to show you this. Okay, so when you go in the info settings, instead of having two settings now, you now have two new settings. You can now double tap the AirPods, go to next track or previous track now. So now you have four options instead of two. You can apply this to each AirPod left or right. Turn that off. The next one is new iPad in new iPad AirPod intro screen. So like how the iPhone has little intro screen saw pop up there. The next one is on the iPad. So if you look right here, iPads now have that intro screen too. It will take a minute for it to pop up. It will work. See? iPads now have this intro screen that says iOS is AirPods. Just like that. iOS 10 didn't have that and not for iPads. Just like that. The next one is new weather widget for iPad. So, let me scroll down so I don't show the info. So look, see new weather widget for iPad. Just like that. Covering that because it's going to show my location there so I covered it up. So, next one, new live photo effects. So, when I go into my live photos here, this is one I took when I was on my last cruise, like near Alaska. Wonder about that. So, now you have new, if you have this, see? See, all I have this normal, but if you want to add false effects, you can do like loop. See? And now it replays and replays. If you want it to bounce, you can click bounce. Like that. So, in long exposure, does this. It exposes it, the photo into one like, exposure for a long time. But that means they'll still play. So it'll still play, but it's just exposing it for a long time. And you now have new filters in photos. Like this, when you click the edit button, you now have edit photo. You can now choose the part you want to make your key photo. Like that. And now you, you now set it to that part of the photo, photo like that. Now this blue key right here is the key of the photo, just like that. This next one is new memory portrait video. So let me turn it away so I don't show any info right here. So I can't show you this apparently because it's not working right now. Okay, so here I go. When you click it, you can now play, you can now play video in portrait like this. Instead of having it landscape, you can now do it like this, upward, hold on. Like this, you can now put it sideways or landscape, portrait or landscape now. So that's the new portrait, that's the new portrait memories video. The next one is new bold text settings and notes. If you wonder what that is, it's basically when you go up to here, hit the A button, you now have other options right here, just like that. You can even put a little F here, heading, Mono spaced, just like that. The next one is new markup as PDF. So when you go into the Safari, look up a web page, 
like this. When you hit the share sheet, you can now scroll down here and hit markup as PDF. Click that, and now you had a PDF made. You can even share it or mark it up, just like that. New Apple Watch is an Apple Watch app. Oh yeah, new screenshot tags. When you take a screenshot, it'll put it down here. So when you tap it, you can now mark it up like here, like this. Those are the new screenshot tags. If you want to deal with it, like I'm gonna delete the screenshot. Next one is new Apple, new watch phase and Apple Watch app. So when I go into my Apple Watch app here, like face gallery, you can see all the brand new watch faces right from here. Two new watch faces. So the Mickey, the the Woody, Jesse, and Buzz, those won't come to later in a later version. So new watch faces. The next one is new interface when learning about new app updates. So when you go into the app store, click on updates. When you hit more, for like on the iPad version, like on the phone, it's still like the original one. But if you go on the iPad, if you click more on the iPad, it'll do this. It'll tell you some new features about it, like this, and that stuff. Just like that. So pretty cool. Next one is new phone app design. I guess here's the new phone keypad. The keypad is entirely new. And another one is new contact little button right here. So you see, instead of, because let me show you my 5C here. And before, it would look like this. Little, the contact button looked just like that. Now, it's two people, a man and a woman now. So there, when you tap a button, like when you tap a key number, like a stroke for a key. On this one, you have a little plus button up here and a back button here. But now the add numbers underneath the number itself and the back button's on the bottom now. Pretty cool stuff. New with new passcode key, new passcode key redesign. So when I go into my passcodes here, oops, wrong button. I turn passcode on. They keep, there's a brand new keypad, which is all spaced out just like that. more icons than iPad docs. So now on the iPad, you can add a little, on like about six more icons, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. You can, you can now add 13 icons to your home screen docs. So let me go and turn my brightness down a little bit. So now you can add 13 icons to your dock on the iPad now. Pretty cool stuff. Next one, you can create watch faces with screenshot tags. Like when you take a screenshot, click on it, hit the share sheet, you can now create a watch face. Click it. This will bring up a prompt to see which one you want, like this one right here. You could choose this one. It's pretty cool. Then if you want to choose it, you can choose other photos like this one or this one. It'll give you other options just like that. The next one. Yeah, I already really contact the photo has a new logo. Resume previous notes. So that's the settings here. We go down to notes settings. Go down here and say resume for previous notes. Resume the previous notes when creating a note from the lock screen using Apple Method Control Center. Just like this. More secure. Always one day. It's pretty cool stuff. New maps notification setting. Like next says messages on iCloud. When I go to messages. There's a new messages on iCloud, which synchronizes your device to all your other devices. Like when you delete a message, it'll delete it on the second device. Like, like if you delete an embarrassing moment, you can delete on one. This one, it'll delete on all your other ones too. So I don't have that enabled right now because I don't use iCloud. Because it makes my watch bug me for my password. It's really annoying. The next one is new maps notification setting. So when you go down to maps here, there is now new notification settings right from here. And salary data taps, just like that. The next one is new app background refresh settings. So now in iOS 10, when you go to app background refresh, you only see a little toggle right here. But now in iOS 10, you get a new category, which gives you the option to, to refresh only on Wi-Fi or both, cellular data and Wi-Fi. So if you choose Wi-Fi, then your phone will not eat up data. That's pretty cool stuff. Tell me comments below that's pretty helpful so you won't eat up data. The next one is new strict stories for your new, you and new. So when you go down to the new settings here, 
go down to news, you now have a new toggle called Restrict Stories from You. For you. Restrict Stories in for you. For you will only show stories from channels you follow. All, the, all of the sources will be blocked. So, in case you don't follow any other sources of news, it will be blocked as other ones. Only yours will be shown. New punctuation keyboard settings. Like a smart punctuation. So what that means is when you go into settings, general, keywords, yeah, smart punctuation, but I tell me comments below what this means, I'm not sure. Because all I know it's only available on my iPad when I look at it. The next one is new download tones and sound settings. So when you go to settings, go to sounds, ringtone, there's a new option to download all purchase tones and tone store buttons. These will download the per all the ringtones I purchased right here, just like that. Almost done. The next one is new auto answer calls and accessibility. So when you go to general, accessibility, down to call auto routing, there's a new toggle for auto answer calls. So when you turn that off, it'll wait, because this is the auto call, like the duration of the time to wait until a call, call is auto, auto answered. You can turn that off if you like. It's pretty cool. The next one is triple click has be re been reorganized. So when I go into accessibility down the triple click, it has been reorganized like this. When I go into my iOS 10 device here, accessibility down the triple click, here the iOS 10 looks like it puts voiceover in recorders and put them in order. But now it's been rearranged to everywhere. Like it's not organized like it's, it used to be on the iOS 10. The, la the two last ones is clock, new clock filter and battery level. Like where you go in the battery here, we go in like the little clock icon right here has been redesigned from iOS 10 here. It used to be like a little clock that never used to be colored, it was always white, but now it's filled in. When you tap it, it's filled in the outside now. Pretty cool. And the last one is new Siri voices. So we talked to Siri on I iOS 10. Hello Siri. Good morning. See that's iOS 10. Here's iOS 11. Hello Siri. Good morning. See that's Siri's new voice. So that's pretty cool. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Smash video.